uh, a very good evening to all of you uh, to children adults alike welcome to my channel a very warm welcome to my channel uh, today here i am back with a video on tumris uh, tumris are a very important uh, aspect pertaining to hindustani classical music so i will be sharing some details and explanations pertaining to tumris so in the context of tumris <coughs> i would like to uh, <coughs> say that mm, tumris are based on lyrics very much the ambience the mood for tumri compositions are very much based on lyrics and accordingly the ragas on which and the notes associated with the lyrics obviously changes with the lyrics so tumris they create an atmosphere when with their performed on either they are performed on beats or without any beats just on guitars it can be performed with um, on tanpura without any beats just on uh, tanpura or guitar or piano it will sound very nice and of course there are tumris that go best with beats mm, tabla or pakwaj but tabla mostly or uh, even percussion beats so uh, in the context of tumris i would <coughs> um okay i would like to i will be covering ragmala as well in the context of tumris but before that um, let me just start with a raga any raga say khamaj a tumri composed um, and sung in khamaj raga on khamaj that so khamaj raga is like this uh the strict khamaj raga goes like this that is strict khamaj but while singing a tumri we do not um, strictly <coughs> uh, uh, stick with one stick in one raga we uh, approach the other notes uh, around the raga which are not technically present in the raga so it becomes a mishro raga a mixed raga If I were to sing Khamaj as a mixed raga, how it will sound? Nisa. Mm-hmm. 
<coughs> so here I sang Khamaj, but I incorporated Tivrama, Tivra Madham, and Komal Gandhar. <laughs> Actually, in the context of Komal Ga, uh, I even touched upon Komal Ni in Khad, in the lower octave. So, and it brought out the flavor of Rag Jog. <coughs> so, I sang with Khamaj with Rag Jog. I blended Rag Jog with Khamaj. I can even blend. Uh, Rag Yaman with Kamaj. This is how it is going to stang, uh, sound like. Saga Ma Pa Ma Pa Saga I sang Khamaj with Yaman with Jog. That is how beautifully I blend uh, and combine the notes so that it blended with each other. Uh, now, this is what is most very important about Thumris. This is how a Thumri is performed and uh, this is all about tumbris, blending of ragas and blending of notes, combining notes to create beautiful melody, beautiful ambience. Uh, uh, it brings out the mood and sentiment pertaining to the composition. It it should be, uh, it is actually sung from the bottom of your heart, feeling, feeling each and every word of pertaining to the lyrics, feeling feeling the notes and bringing out the best of aesthetic beauty. The raga should be blended in such a way so as to bring the best of uh, aesthetic beauty. It should sound aesthetically very pleasing. It shouldn't sound... Uh, it shouldn't sound off course. It shouldn't sound abrupt. While blending, it shouldn't sound abrupt it shouldn't sound of beat if it is performed on beats or it shouldn't sound <coughs> uh, disconnected so so that is what is tumri is about mood sentiment ambience blending of ragas aesthetic beauty uh, expression expressing the uh, mood and sentiment behind the composition so lyrics is also equally important uh, I uh, sang Khamaj with Yaman if I I can also blend in Rag Hamir combining the notes in such a way naturally while singing it shouldn't sound like oh I am I'm, I'm, I'm performing on this Raga one Raga then I'm shifting to another Raga then I'm shifting to another Raga while singing the tomb it shouldn't sound like that or you shouldn't have that mentality uh, or a preset mind that oh i'm 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 going to sing on on a, these 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 ragas 
pertaining to this tumri no that is not how we approach about a tumri we approach the notes and combine them and they they fit in uh, the uh, different ragas and they blend with each other and that creates beautiful music so if i were to blend uh, hamir with <coughs> khamaj this is how it is going to sound like sa ni sa is hamir ga ma ni da pa ma pa ga ga pa ma ba ga ga pa ma ba ma ba ga ma ba ga ga ma ga ga pa ma ba ga ma ga 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 pa ma ba ni da ma ma ba ga ma ba ga ga ma ga ni da ga ma pa that is rag bihag i moved from hami to bihag now i move to khamaj and yaman pa ma ma da da ma ma ga ga ma re ta ni ga ga ta ni re ga ni re ga ma ma re ni re ni re ga re ga ma ma ga ga re ta राग जोग बैक टू खमाज that is rag jajavanti that is rag khamaj so see how beautifully i combined the notes uh smoothly so this is what tumri is about a tumri can also be uh sung on beats uh this is the very uh, this is the very base of tumris blending of notes bringing out the mood and the lyrics uh sentiment some uh, pertaining to the mood i will be covering a few tumris in the next video to explain in detail uh about the lyrics but how the lyrics changes the ambience and the composition and and the mood and uh, everything actually pertaining to tumris in this video i and conclude uh with with notes and uh a blending of ragas uh i <coughs> hope this video will be useful to all music learners hindustani classical music learners who are uh, pursuing classical music
uh, who are pursuing classical music uh, as higher studies or giving examinations in fifth, six, five or uh, fifth, six years, or who genuinely uh, want to learn classical music. Do share this video amongst your friends and families, spread and cater knowledge. And uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this video, do press on the like button. Uh, do subscribe to my channel. I will be coming up with another video on Tumris. Uh, uh, stay safe and happy. Goodbye. Bye-bye.